Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a um. Bro, I swear to God, I never know. I never know. I'd be forgetting the titles as soon as I start recording. But anyway, how to make a GUI? This is a suggestion, by the way. Like someone suggested this. How to make a GUI that gives you different options on where to spawn? Pretty. I've seen this in a couple of games, and I get what the person is saying. Pretty much a little GUI. You choose. Um. Obviously, in an actual game, it would be like. The city, the country, uh, I don't know, I mean, like the beach, the mountain, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that, like it would be stuff like that. But for this, we're just going to use spawn location 1, spawn location 2, spawn location 3, spawn location 4. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Uh, this is actually one of my managers for uh, my Discord and stuff like stuff like that. So shout out to him and stuff. But yeah, though, uh, links to join my Discord can be found in the description. Yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so... Of course, you're gonna need spawn, so we can head on over to model, then we can go to spawn. We'll click that four times. You can get as many as you want. Like, you, if you only want two, you get two, three, or five, or six, whatever. It don't matter. But yeah. Let's get, so let's get our spawn locations right, and we can go ahead and just spread them out just a little bit. Don't have to be too far. Just spread them out, and then of course we're gonna change the colors because because uh, obviously we need it to um. What? Why can't I change? Okay, there we go. We need it to like represent like differences right so we'll make one red you guys can change it to whatever colors you want but i'll make mine red blue green and then yellow so green and make this one yellow right and then of course we're going to name them all different things right so we'll do spawn location one spawn location two you guys don't have to worry about anchoring them uh because um they're obviously already automatically anchored. Spawn location four, right? Then we're gonna head over to replicate the storage and use our remote event. So we're gonna set a remote event. We're gonna call this spawn changer event. Spawn changer event. I originally wasn't gonna use this, but then I was like, I feel like it's just better to use like have one script to handle everything and then just have the other scripts just send over it. Uh the signal, I guess you could call it. Right, and then we'll go into start a GUI and insert a screen GUI and we'll call this our spawn changer gui then we'll insert a frame right and then we will scale this frame we need it to fit four text buttons so we'll call this uh spawn changer frame spawn changer frame then we could change the color to like i don't know like a like a orange yeah like a nice little bright orange then we can insert four text buttons into it four text buttons I'm gonna insert a UI grid layout. You guys don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it just because I don't feel like having to like move them all around and stuff. This way, they'll be like they'll be like positioned properly and stuff. Uh, let's see. You can mess around with this until you, until you find one that you like. And then I'm gonna space them out a little more, like seven. Oh wait, no, wrong one. Seven. Okay, there we go. Then let me do. Let's try eight. Okay, I like eight. And then let's move them over a little bit more. Two oh two oh two. There we go. So I wanted to cover the entire thing, right? Then we of course we're gonna name every text button as well as change the colors. So we'll have this we'll have it match up, right? Like since uh spawn spawn location one is red, we'll have the first text button be red, right? So we'll call this spawn spawn one button, yeah. Yeah, no point in typing out the whole thing. And then we can go ahead and change the text to really the same thing. Uh, spawn one. All right. Um, let me go here. Then look for spawn two. Spawn two is the blue one, so we'll come down here. And then, of course, we will call this spawn two. Scale it. Rich text. Well, let's just go ahead and just make sure all of them have rich text and scale them all. all right. They go back to the second one. I am bulleted too. And then we'll make the color of it blue. Wait for it. And I think you yeah, like a light blue. And then let's and then of course we name the button spawn two button. Spawn two button. And then we are going to go see what spawn three location. Okay, so it's the green one. Alrighty then. Let's go here and call this spawn three button. Then of course we will oh I forgot to change the color. Make it yellow. Come down here, make it bold. Where is it? There we go. Spawn three. 
come down here, make it bold to call this spawn four. And this is obviously the yellow. Wait, wait, actually, wait. Oh, no, I had it wrong. I had it wrong. Wait, spawn three is green. Sorry, sorry. Spawn three was green. I don't know if that messed up for you guys, but for me, I accidentally put yellow instead of green. Okay, green. It's because spawn four. Okay, yeah, spawn four is yellow. Okay, so yeah, this is spawn four. Spawn four button, and then yeah, and then wait for it. Where's the background color? Oh, right there. Okay, then make this yellow, and boom, we have our button set up. Then we can close all that out. Head on over to server script service, enter a script, a server script. Oh, well, sorry, we're not done. <laughs> I was stupid. I forgot. We actually have to put the scripts actually into it. Okay. So let's insert a local script into a uh, spawn one button. Call this, we'll call this spawn one script. Now, when I uh, put the scripts into the description, I'm not going to put all four of these as they're literally the same exact thing, just changing the last word. So it wouldn't really make sense, right? But anyway. So of course we're gonna, we're gonna make a variable, right? We're gonna do local spawn changer event is equal to game that we the storage dot spawn changer event, and then we're gonna do script dot parent mouse button one click connect function in parentheses. We're gonna put sorry close parentheses then press enter, and then we're gonna do spawn changer event fire server, and then we're going to say spawn one. We're gonna send over this is our identifier. For, this is how it knows like which spawn we're changing it to. Spawn one, and then it automatically send over the player, so we don't need a comma, right? Now, if you guys wanted to have like a cooldown so people can't change their spawns like every second, you could do uh, script dot disabled is equal to true, then do wait, enter whatever amount of time, then do script dot disabled equals false, right? That's if you wanted to have a cooldown, and it. it's really simple. But yeah, and then literally, we could really just uh, duplicate the script three times by by having the script selected, then pressing Control D, Control and D. So one, oh sorry, one, two, three, four. Oh sorry, only need to do that three times. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and drop these scripts into the other button, and then literally just make some minor adjustments. Update. Make sure you update the names of all the scripts. Right, it's more of an order thing. It won't affect like when you actually play the game, but it's more of an order thing. Just so you keep up with all your scripts. Right. So yeah. You just change it to spawn two, right? Come here, spawn three, spawn four, right? Boom. So now we're at, okay. Now we're officially done with the uh, GUI, right? We come we come into service script service, and then this is our spawn changer handler. This handles all the spawn changes, right? So then we're gonna do local spawn changer event, of course. Spawn changer event is equal to game that replicate storage of spawn changer event. Enter twice. Then we're gonna do spawn changer event dot on server event connect function PLR, which is short for player, which is automatically sent. Then uh, spawn name, right? So then we'll use if and else if statements. We're gonna do if spawn if spawn name is equal to spawn oh sorry spawn one then player dot respawn location is equal to oh you know what oh wait I just realized mm, should I make them variables I don't know if I should make them variables to be honest I mean it doesn't really make that big of a Mm, I, oop, it, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Game the workspace dot spawn location one, right? I was gonna, um, I was gonna go up here and do local spawn one, spawn one, local spawn two, local spawn three, spawn, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm, I mean, it's not really a difference to be honest. So yeah. So we have the first one set up. Then we're gonna come down here, press enter, do else if spawn name is equal to spawn spawn two. Uh then player dot respawn location is equal to game dot workspace spawn location two and then you would just keep doing this over and over again we can really just control c and then just paste this two more times then literally just change oh change that three four and four and boom just like that we are we are done that is it all right 
Going to go play. Damn, damn, the video just hit 10 minutes. Well, I tried my best, guys. But anyway, okay. So obviously, it's gonna it, like when we first join, it's gonna randomly spawn. It's like it could have spawned us at anyone, right? Now, if I choose spawn one, then I respawn. You would obviously test it by reading your character, right? As you can see, I respawned at the red one, and then just to test again, I hate that sound so much. Let me <laughs> let me disable the volume. I hate that spawn. I hate that sound so much. All right. Reset character, boom, I'm back here. Then if I change the spawn to... Wait, what? Now I'm confused. It should be changing my spawn location. Respawn location. Very confused. Respawn name, spawn location 2, 3, 4, spawn 1, spawn. I must have forgotten to change it in GUI. I must have forgotten to. No, spawn two. I'm very confused right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, if spawn equals spawn one. Wait, if spawn two, spawn location two. Wait, this is spawn two button, right? Okay. I'm confused. This it, it's literally called spawn two. If it's called spawn two, then it should work because it's saying fire event, fire server spawn two. Spawn name is equal to spawn one. Oh oh oh! Sorry, I, I see where the issue. I see where the issue is here. Oh, I put replication focus. Oh my god! I didn't realize I did that. I put replication focus instead of respawn location. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry. I was like, I know I typed it right. Okay, there you go. I was so confused. I'm like, why is this not working? Yeah, guys, why you don't rush while you're typing? Okay. So like I said, if we do spawn one, right? We set our character, right? We're at the red one. Now if we do spawn two, we set our character. We're at the blue one. Spawn three. Boom, right green, then spawn forward. Don't know why my avatar is like that. Reset and boom, just like that. Yep, see? And then I'll test again. I should be right back here at the yellow one. Boom, see? And that's how you set up uh, spawn points and stuff with the GUI and stuff. Hope the video was helpful. All scripts will be in the description and stuff. If you need help, leave a comment down below or join the Discord. Links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Help me get to 350 subscribers. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Thank you all for watching.